Hey guys, it's Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I'm on my way back home, man. I've been down in the country where there is literally no cell service. And just getting back into life, back into uh, reality, and still my hair is dry as can be, and it's throwing up. But it is what it is. But I hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, where we talk about our Dallas Cowboys and the stench that is the Dallas Cowboys. Some news, the Thursday night game, Thursday night we were supposed to be playing against the Ravens, has been moved to Monday, December 7th, a day which will live in infamy. That's right, our game has been moved to Monday night, but it's also conceivable that it could actually move to Tuesday night as well. So they're working on this. I think actually it might be a five o'clock game or 6 o'clock on the East Coast. It, it's all confusion. But blame the Baltimore Ravens coach who broke protocol for all this mess that is. Now, here's where it's a shame. Because had the Cowboys won, we would have actually had an 11-day break going into playing Baltimore, which, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of a chance, uh, you know, a little bit of an edge with more time to prepare for them. But as we sit here right now with the Cowboys, I don't want to say the season's over, but God, that game against Washington was literally a gut punch. I literally just want to check out that I, I, I literally went to bed sick last night thinking about how bad the Cowboys were. And it, it, there's so many reasons to feel bad about that game. The fact that Mike McCarthy is still falling on his sword claiming that that fake punt was that was the right call that was a good call you know man get the f out of here with that that was some oh do you guys see the moon up there Ooh, almost a full moon yeah oh um mike mccarthy literally saying that that was the right call or a good call and everything else that's crazy that's crazy He's the only mother humper out there that I've heard who thinks that that was a good call. I'm sorry. That reeked of desperation. Literally nobody in their right mind thought going for it on fourth down with a fake punt was a good idea. Sorry. It's not happening. That That's, that's some bull jiggity. So we'll see where we go. Got to look for my wife and Michael. I don't want to sit there in the parking. Eh, there are no parking spaces. Boy, the place to be apparently is Wawa. Or is this Sheets? I'm sorry. Sheets is jumping tonight. I ain't lying to you. Everybody is hanging at Sheets. Oh, there's a spot. I can park right over here. Um, It's crazy. Uh, actually, Mike McCarthy's crazy. So that's all I got for you. Tune in tonight. I'll be back home in about an hour or so. I'll get myself something to eat. I'll get cleaned up, do my hair, and we'll do our live stream where we can all cry about how pathetic our Dallas Cowboys are. And uh, <laughs> here's how bad it is. Here's how bad it is. Philly 500 now wants to bet who will get the higher draft pick. It's come to that. It's literally come to who will get the higher pick. Yeah. Yeah. Sad days here in Cowboy Land, that's all I can say. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you back in the man cave.